All right. What I'm going to show you is something that is very unusual because I cannot believe it happened, but I took these frames off an old globe accordion. You see the globe special made in Germany. This is probably about 80, 90, 100 years old. Steel reeds, extra fine quality, and look at this, Brian. <laughs> Brian LaFleur. I saved the Y. The Y still bends over. This is just paper, right? Now, the thing that blows me away is that I could save that paper on this. It was very, very... It was like it was like surgery. It used to have bellows that I mean these things, right? They look kind of ni nice. They like they they they, uh, they got the flowery shit and they got the middle bar there, the middle frame, and it looked nice. But these things were crumbling, and um, in fact, I glued every single one of these pieces of bellows tape back on. And once I, I once I saw or I felt one leak, you don't have to hear a leak, you can feel it on your face, your lips, your eyes. Once you feel that, then you have to replace the bellows. And these bellows are nice, nice Italian bellows like the Cajuns use and and like many people other use, but like th these are a specific um, height and width. And the funny thing is, it fits perfectly on these frames. And um, I'm, I, I gotta say, I, I'm proud of this more than anything else I've ever done with accordions. And also, um, here's the inside of the treble side of the... Alright, you see, there's 40 reed plates. But that means there's 80 reeds, because on the other side there's another reed, so there's 80 reeds here. Um, and these are wing nuts that are to keep it the front side on. This uh, thing sticking out like this, this hooks on to what is over here. You see this other stop, you don't see that on many accordions. This is on the bass side, the other side. That locks the accordion, and it's very unusual because so many of these old accordions had, um, uh, what do you call it, just, you know, butt clasps or whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take out all these reeds. I'm going to get a new fingerboard made for this thing because... It has springs inside that are shit. Complete. Uh, the uh, one I knew one was gonna break. I mean, like they they all squeak and make a lot of noise. Plus, uh, I have another globe, but it's not the same uh, model. And my friend J John Doucet, he made a fingerboard for that. And man, that thing plays like lightning. And plus, it, it leaks a lot less with a good fingerboard. And finally, there here's the base side. Um, that's a cord plate. It has three reeds on one side, three reeds, reeds on the other side. And it has a sidecar. And uh, that's actually an interesting feature. This, um, there's somebody from Ireland. I got this from Ireland. And... Somebody had serviced this accordion and did a decent job. I mean, he put all these uh, Ventile uh, valves on these reeds. And um, the surprising thing is that this thing is not warped at all. Um, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take the this leather off because it doesn't seem to close right when I touch it. If you can touch a leather and it doesn't seem to close right, it needs to be replaced with something. So, I'm going to use Scotch Thermal Laminating Pouches. So I'll cut a square on... I have to cut two because... 
uh, I need to put one here and one beneath it and then I'll have to retune it because there's no way it's going to be in the same tuning and in fact it's not in, in proper tuning anyway so I might as well just uh, fucking redo all that but I am so happy that this I mean I, I cannot believe this happened that I could save this paper on the frame I mean it, it was starting to corrode um, when it wrapped around the other bellows and like you can see I, I saved what I wanted to save on these bellows it wrapped around that paper wrapped around this cardboard and luckily for me it was actually separating from the cardboard when I took this off and if it wasn't then I'd have to peel away but you can see how easily this shit just you see like this is just trash so you have to appreciate these Italian bellows there's no way you cannot appreciate them now that I'm done gluing I'm going to put a bead of glue as John would call it a bead all the way around here and all the way around on the other side that's my next task anyway thanks for watching